Hey children, hi. Let us discuss fifth lesson. In eighth class, social studies is forest using and protecting. So in this video, you will discuss the change in 1988 and 1990. The change in 1988 and 1990. In the year 1988, in the year 1988. government realized the development of the tribal people without giving forest rights for the tribes in the year 1988 government realized the development of the tribal people without giving forest rights for the tribes government understood protection of forest is impossible without tribal people living in the forest government realized Protection of forest is impossible without the tribes living in the forest in the year 1988. Government launched a new policy in the year 1988. That policy is called National Forest Policy. Children, when National Forest Policy was launched by the government in the year 1988, when the National Policy for Again, okay, when the National Forest Policy was launched by the government children in the year 1988, the primary task of National Forest Policy is to associate tribes in protecting the forest, regenerating the forest, and development of the forest. The primary task of National Forest Policy 1988 is associate tribes in protecting the forest, regenerating the forest, and development of forest. This policy prescribed National Forest Policy 1988 prescribed to provide gainful employment for the people living in the forest and living on the forest. National Forest Policy 1988 provide gainful employment for the people living in the forest and living around the forest. National Forest Policy prescribe that village community as a right to involve the village communities as a right to involve in protecting the forest, regenerating the forest and development of our forest. and participate in afforestation program like planting of trees in the forest national forest policy 1988 prescribe the village community as a right to involve in protecting the forest regenerating the forest development of forest and participate in afforestation program like planting the trees in return in return village communities Okay, village communities had a right to collect minor forest produce. Minor forest produce means nothing but bamboo, canes, seed, grass, honey, flowers, fruits, etc. One second, children. Minor forest produce is nothing but bamboo, canes, seed, grass, flowers, fruits, etc. This was the beginning of active cooperation between village communities and forest department. This was the beginning of active cooperation between village communities and forest department. Okay, children. Now one second, I'll repeat the the task of National Forest Policy in the year 1988. The primary task of National Forest Policy 1988. is associate tribes in protecting the forest regenerating the forest and development of forest national forest policy prescribe to provide gainful employment for the people living in forest and around the forest this policy prescribe village community as a right to involve in protecting the forest regenerating the forest and development of forest and also to take participation in afforestation program like planting of trees in return village communities had a right to collect minor forest produce like bamboo cane seed grass tubers vegetables fruits etc 
this was the beginning for the active cooperation between village communities and forest department under national forest policy a new policy was launched by the government called joint forest management under national forest policy 1988 government launched a new policy called joint forest management what is this new policy called joint forest management under joint forest management the villages that are near to the forest had a right to involve in developing the forest regenerating the forest and protecting the forest okay under national forest policy 1988 a new policy was launched by the government called joint forest management under this policy the villages that are located near to the forest had a right to involve in protecting the forest regenerating the forest and development of forest in return the village communities had a right to get a small minor forest to produce in andhra pradesh joint forest management is called community forest management in andhra pradesh the policy of joint forest management is renamed as community forest management under this community forest management the villages that are located near the forest and forest department the villages that are located near to the forest and forest department both join together to involve in protecting the forest regenerating the forest and development of forest under this community forest management and the best government forced tribes to give their poor lands for the forest regeneration under community forest management the villages that are located near to the forest and forest department jointly they had a right they had a right to involve in protecting the forest regenerating the forest and development of forest under this community forest management and the pradesh government forced the tribes to give the poor land for forest regeneration do you know why children to maintain ecological balance our andhra pradesh has 23% of forest area to maintain ecological balance we need 33% of forest area whereas our andhra pradesh has 23% of forest area to maintain ecological balance we need 33% of forest area 33% of forest area whereas on the pradesh state as only on the pradesh state as 23% of forest area it is not sufficient to maintain ecological balance all living things are depend upon environment if environment is protected living things will be protected if environment want to be protected then ecological balance should be maintained if ecological balance should be maintained then we need 33% of forest area whereas andhra pradesh has 23% of forest area so to increase the forest area andhra pradesh government forced the tribes to give the poor lands for forest regenerations in india wild animals are decreasing day by day to protect the animals for giving safety for animals under national forest policy 1988 the government established tiger sanctuaries in the forest to protect the wildlife what is meant by sanctuaries sanctuaries is a place where it give protection and safety for the animals sanctuary is a place where it give protection and safety for the animals under national forest policy in the year 1998 the government of india established tiger sanctuaries in the forest for giving protection to wildlife children so far we discussed about the change in 1988 and 990 i hope you understand this topic before seeing this video first read the topic from the textbook then you see my video you will understand very much better otherwise okay we'll discuss this topic in zoom session and there we rectify doubts clearly thank you children for watching my videos we'll meet in the next video children thank you bye bye